Hey guys, some gamer dude here. Last time I said there was another part of the discussion, but was better served in its own video. There is a comment related to the classic Sonic as Outlive Goose Welcome idea. Sega treats modern and classic Sonic as two characters, not the same character at different ages. Sim goes for Tails. Dr. Robotnik, and presumably Amy Rose and Knuckles, the rest of the classic crew. You know what? They do. They absolutely do. No questioning it. Not calling anyone out. People are 100% correct when they say Sega treats modern and classic Sonic as two different characters. So, why make a video about this? Well, the relation between classic and modern has always been weird. People like to believe that modern is an older classic Sonic. Adventure is in canon with Sonic 3 Complete and Adventure 2 Through Shadow is canon to Sonic Adventure, Sonic 3 Complete and Sonic CD. Makes sense. Except Sonic's age is always hovering around 15 and 16, finally de-aging him back to 15 in Adventure. Does it make sense for him to change so dramatically in the space of a year or two? It makes even less sense for him to de-age between three and adventure. Let alone Robotnik, a grown-ass adult human man, to change so much over a year. Yet, they changed rather dramatically. No, classic and modern aren't Sonic growing up. The cast got a redesign and the franchise got a dramatic art shift. It's exactly what it was in reality. So... Classic and modern in generations, not so much boy and man Sonic as it's been interpreted as, or teen teen Sonic as it's closer to, but alternate depictions of the same character at roughly the same age. Yes, that makes absolutely no sense in the context of generations. Why would they be so different? They shouldn't be. Generations shouldn't really be possible the way it's depicted, yet it is. Modern Sonic treats classic Sonic like a different character too, like a child. Despite Classic Sonic being the same age to boot, Modern Tales remembers being in the Classic Zones. The end of Generations implies Classic is learning homing attack from Modern and will become Modern. Nothing makes sense until you use the easiest cop-out in writing. Multiverse Theory. They're different versions of the same characters from different universes that have similar events. Classic Sonic ended with Sonic 3 Complete. Then he went karting, racing and fighting. Modern Sonic has similar events to Classic Sonic, but involving Modern. It's not the best explanation, but it's the only one that fits once Sega didn't want to go with the Sonic has always looked like this mantra, which was a bit easier to swallow than everyone changed so dramatically over a year. It's not like Mario hasn't changed subtly over the years. Luigi has a lot. Yoshi too. It reflects badly on generations that want us to go through mental gymnastics to explain it. It's an amazing game. It was great playing as classic Sonic again, but logical storytelling, not so much. But where does this leave Mania? That's raising my interest quite a bit from a timeline point. Will it be fit in between 3 Complete and Adventure, trying in vain to say Sonic's universe changed dramatically over a year? Will it be non-canon? Will it split the franchise in two? Only time will tell, but I hope it splits it in two. I'd like to see classic Sonic continue, in a new Super Mario Bros. type fashion, but not boring like those games. Maybe retell the adventure games, and do its own thing from Heroes onwards. Modern Sonic left to do whatever Sega wants him to do, but that's possibly a pipe dream of mine, I, I don't really see it happening. Anyway, this has been Some Gamer Dude, and I'll see you guys next time.